For most, sex may simply be the best way to produce offspring. But then there are some sexual practices that do not lead to birth. Take homosexuality. Humans are by no means the only life form to have found same-sex sex. In the wild, homosexuality seems rampant. And for the most part, homosexual animals appear to experience very little hostility. The response is positive. In fact, among certain species, homosexuality is more common in those individuals with status. The animal kingdom is certainly not exclusively straight. Over 400 species among every animal group and from all over the world are now known to engage in homosexuality. And some of them may surprise you. Who'd have thought the mighty and powerful king of beasts often leads a double life? Male lions having sex together until they come across a mixed pride, ripe for the taking. They're affectionate towards one another. They hug, they caress, and they kiss. Homosexual acts are common among male giraffes, too. This neck rubbing is overt homosexual behavior, and it's going on all over the African savanna. And many male cheetah brotherhoods are strictly members only. Such homosexual behaviors often appear more affectionate and even more inventive than their heterosexual counterparts. Orangutans are extremely resourceful. They can retract their penis to create a cavity for other males to penetrate. Full anal penetration occurs less frequently, but one species that has mastered the finer points of the back door are rhesus macaques and the rather aptly named bighorn sheep. It's not just males that look to their own sex for sex. The animal world is full of females in long-lasting same-sex pair bonds. Within these partnerships, they build homes together, raise their young without any help from males, and live in contentment. Same-sex activities frequently develop out of ordinary social behavior. What begins as simple affection can all too soon develop into serious heavy petting and even full sex. And for those species lucky enough to have hands and fingers like bonobo chimpanzees, it's easy to see how they become hooked. Homosexuality in animals has no definitive explanation. It may be fun, but it's definitely not reproductive. And for biology, that's the problem. We've long been led to believe that reproduction, genetic legacy, call it what you want, is the be-all and end-all of biological existence. Why do animals have sex if it's not to create a new life? What is the evolutionary value of homosexuality? It may be to help perpetuate the species, improving an individual's mating skills, or regulate the population growth by providing a crucial, non-reproductive sexual release. Aside from offering useful practice until the real thing comes along, it may even just supply a valuable outlet for those who cannot find a willing partner of the opposite sex. Dolphins have a high sex drive, and gender is no barrier to their desires. Dolphin flippers appear to make perfectly good sexual stimulators, if they find the right spot. And male river dolphins, or butus, have been known to insert their penis into the blowhole on the top of a friend's head. It's all sex, and it all looks like fun. After all, who's to say sex needs to be about reproduction at all? Because even though sexual behavior is fundamental to birth, it's not always necessary. 